how does the oil system work on your Harley Softail? I'll tell you all about it inside. Revelator Alpha. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below and check out the website revelatoralpha.com. So in this video, I'm talking about Harley Davidson's, I'm talking about the Softail models, I'm talking about, well, the Sport Glide, which I've got here. And how is the engine cooled? Well, we know that Harley Davidson engines are primarily, or most of them, are primarily air cooled. But actually, they're, they're assisted in their cooling uh, by oil cooling. And right here at the front uh, of the engine, you have the oil cooler. Now, uh, where does this oil go? Well, obviously it lubricates the engine, but it assists in the cooling as well. So there are two main pathways, if you like. Uh, you've actually got the engine, the lower engine, if you like, uh, the crank area that's got uh, oil. Then you've got the top of the engine, uh, the cam side, uh, the, the, where all the valves are. That's the other side. So you've got the lower side and the top side, the head, if you like. How is the oil distributed? Well, basically you've got the, uh, where the end, when the oil connects in, in the oil pan. Right here at the side of the engine here, that's where you have the uh, oil pump. Now, earlier M8 engines had oil pump issues when they were upgrading, when you're stage upgrading as well. So they, if you ever have a stage upgrade, certainly up to three and four, uh, they will likely put in a heavier duty uh, oil pump, but that oil pump is standard on the big touring uh, bikes anyway, on the, the 117 engine. So, you know, that's just for your information. How does the uh, oil pump work? Well, essentially, within the oil pump, you've kind of got two other oil pumps, if you like, um, and they're called gyrotors or generated rotors, and it's all very technical stuff. But essentially what it is, uh, you have a static part, an outer shell, and then you have a rotating inner shell. That rotating inner shell is uh, hooked up to the uh, crankshaft. Uh, of the bottom of the engine, which basically directly turns that oil pump. And basically what it is, is the inner part is like a gear uh, tooth mechanism, and it rotates around the static part, which is also geared, if you like, and it rotates in between the gears. And it's almost like a, a helical kind of rotation. As the oil is trapped within those gears, then it's pumped out. Now you've got two. One is for the scavenge system. In other words, it sucks the oil from the, uh, the system itself, the oil pan, into the oil pump. And then the other one actually is the feed or the supply and it pumps it out. So that's a very simplistic way of uh, looking at it, but that's the way it is. Now, there are two uh, supplies, if you like. One actually goes uh, into the crank and all around the engine as well. It actually pushes up through the push rods or through the lifters, through the push rods, and goes up to the uh, the um, the head here to uh, oil all the valves and everything like that. That's one part. So let's say when you first start your engine, actually your your head, your, your valves can actually be a little bit dry at times until the oil is pumped up. I mean, I'm not talking a, a great deal of time here, maybe a second or two, but you might get a, an initial little bit of sound there as well, a little bit of driveness. That's basically because there isn't much oil there, especially if the bike has been stood for a while. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so the, the other avenue or the other pathway for the oil actually comes out the front here. So I'll show you that right now. It actually comes through here, through this pipe here, and into the oil cooler. Now this is feeding, if you like, uh, the hot side uh, of the oil. It's coming out of the engine, it's hot oil out of the engine. Then it passes up through the oil cooler and up through the oil cooler and it comes up the top here, through this pump here, and then it feeds the oil lines at the top of the engine. So basically, these oil lines here. 
and they go one to the, the front cylinder and one to the rear cylinder. And they'll basically uh, oil round all around the, the head and all the heads, I should say, and then they'll be collected back uh, into the scavenge system, the return line, if you like, uh, back to the oil pan. So essentially, that's how the oil system works. You've got two, one oil pump made of two parts of these gerotas, and uh, one, and they're both uh, hooked up to the uh, crankshaft, so they spin, and as they're spinning, they trap oil, kind of, if that's not a very good way of explaining it, but they kind of trap oil but process it. And one is sucking, one is pushing, and then that actually pushes your oil all around the engine uh, and either to the tops of the heads or actually um, through the uh, push rods up to the valves uh, all around the crankshaft as well. That's it, that's the oil system. That's how the engine is cooled or assisted in its cooling, but we still know that major cooling comes from the airflow as well. But if it wasn't for that oil cooling, we have a whole, we'd have a whole host of issues uh, with this uh, M8 engine. Right, well, I hope you found that useful, uh, informative at least. Uh, so if you've got any questions, uh, drop them in the comments below. Let me know what you think. If you've got any extra information about this, please let us know as well. If I've missed something, uh, hopefully not. Uh, but please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below. Check out the website, revelatoralf.com, and I'll catch you on the next video. Ta-da! Revelator Alf.